This is the Bouge RV 200 watt panel. And I must say, I like the form factor. Now this panel was sent to me from Bouge RV. Good looking out. And the thing that's different about this one is this one has nine bus bars on it. You could count them if you like. They're supposed to be more efficient. You look at something like this panel over here, it has five. Let's talk about the volts and amps on this panel. One thing you'll notice is that the volts are kind of lower. Not the open circuit, but the under load, whatever it means, <laughs> the max output, so on and so forth. Which means this one puts out higher amps. Now, if I wanted to compare it to something like this, this one I bought on purpose because it does not put out higher amps. Now, this is interesting because it's all in reference to my OG big power station, which is the EB70. Bouge RV had a version of the EB70, which was capped at 8 amps. I have another device, the Blue Eddy, as well as capped at 8.5. This one on paper puts out 11 ish amps so if you have a normal power station that doesn't limit your amps then this will work fine but also keep in mind that the amps you'll get from this panel may not reach its standard test conditions so what that means is you may not get the amp output that it's rated at if it's rated at 11.72 you might get like nine so that's something to consider now the interesting thing that i noticed about this one is that this panel is let's call it a new design or a newer design it has these little diamonds in them. What I have noticed over the years is that panels have started out with these little diamonds in them, and then they eventually move to something like this where they don't have the diamonds in them. I don't know what that's about. Somebody smarter than me can explain it in the comments. Now, I've shown my audience this panel before. I have showed it in comparison to the 180 up there, and it's even shorter than the 180, but it's a little bit wider. I like options. I like having variables and things like that. I don't necessarily need uniform panels in this current iteration of what I'm doing with solar, but I like that this feels a lot more compact than your average 200 watt panel. These are all the same panels. Now let's look at some testing. This is how much power you can expect on a bright but <laughs> cloudy day. Look at that coming. Uh. Just to get some real world expectations. You can see that you get about, what, 10, 12% here? 200 watt panels producing 28 watts. I don't care what people say, overcast, as long as it's bright, you're getting some power. Now, some sun maybe? I'd say that's pretty decent. <laughs> I'm gonna go with it. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Huh. Boy, look at here. Let it ramp up a little bit. It ain't quite hit that sweet spot yet. Still got a little something moving and shaking. Here we go. Nah, we caught some haze, some cloudy haze. Under these current conditions, I can't get anything more than 142. That's basically shadow perfection right there. There's literally nothing on the side of this thing. Let's see what's happening. Come on, I'll show the screen, man. What you doing? 142. Now somebody asked me to test this little one, so I'm gonna do it. Right now we got 141. Let's see what this one gets. What do I need here? I need that. Get you right here. One. I think you can barely see it. 139 so pretty much the same 137 that one was get what 142 all right let's see what this is hitting for again i guess this is, we call this just some casual testing 140 that's pretty much the same thing i saw earlier when i was seeing 142 on the eco flow I think that the most important consideration that one has to have for this panel is size. There may be a situation where you need something that's a little shorter and a little wider, you know, because panels are panels. They only have so much wiggle room in the dimension, which kind of begs the question, are all these panels kind of created equal enough to not be playing this game of which to consider, you know, in terms of performance? Like this video I made over here, I compared the Renergy to the HQST. Some people have said they're both the same panels. You be the judge. Check the video out. It's an interesting one. His eye holler.